because I know I see you growing them out sideways, and 90% of people do grow them out sideways. Some people do, so and maybe. that's what I did notice when I was growing them, like cutting the bag and growing them right on top of the bag. I uh -huh. noticed they just didn't develop the nice icicle, elong like they didn't have the definition that I usually get when I fruit them off the side, and yeah. I think, you know, part of it's because water doesn't get a chance to settle on the mushrooms as much, and also just like the gravity right. of just hanging off the side mm -hmm. and growing kind of like similar to, as they do in nature off the sides of trees. Get those you know, nice spines on nice them. Nice spines, yeah. nice nice mushroom fruit body development. Yeah. Um, so that's what works out, and I'll show you how I set the five by 10 up. So I used to have the humidifier right here, mm -hmm. and it had a hose hooked in through the side where it pumped the humidity in, mm -hmm. but I just noticed it just didn't, I didn't like it. So I put it back inside the tent, and it's on a dolly on wheels, so it could be moved around. Do you have to grow my taki specifically by themselves in the um, own room? You would like, yeah, well, you don't have to. I've gotten away with growing them in the other rooms. Typically, uh, they don't like the fluctuations of temperature that you'll get with a lot of other strain, well, that I get with the other rooms. The intake is actually not connected directly to outside um, because the outside air kind of fluctuates in temperature. Yeah. And it gets really cold in the morning and average temperatures in the day. So it's just bringing in air from the facility and then the intake for the outdoors is actually just piped up in the top of the warehouse just to 